track day at Button Willow is complete. Now for the oil change. Uh, since this is my second time doing it, I can just offer some tricks and tips now. Don't open that until you take out the drain plug, but leave that open so you're ready. Just pop up here and this is so you don't get hot oil spilling stuff fast on your hand. Make a bib. I had a little dribble last time, but this time I won't be worried about it. And let me show you guys how the quick way to take out the under tray. This is how you take out the under tray. Take out all the screws with your torques, the four bolts, which are 10 mils, and then the four nuts, the nylon nuts. Okay, once all the fasteners are removed, you get in here to the front and you pull off that. This is where the nylon nuts are. Take that, same on the other side. Uh, okay, once that's loose, you got this dangling, you got this dangling likewise on the other side. You come to the back of the car and push forward as far forward as you can. Nope. There we go. That's shoved forward enough. And the whole thing just falls on you. And from this point, you just drop it down. Hello, Porsche fans. Today I'm in my 718 Cayman GTS. And it is time for the first oil change. We're up about 1,700 miles, and let me show you what I'm looking at. We're at 1,759 miles. This is the owner's manual, and change capacity, change quantity with oil filter, approximately 1.5 gallons, 5,7 liters. And I did some of the calculations there. It's about 5.7. It works out. They just rounded it off. And let's try it. 5 liter jug and a 1 liter bottle of Motul 5W40. It is a Porsche A40 approved. So then we've got a 5 8 inch heater hose. That's for the adapter on the oil filter. Gonna need a pick tool, a quarter inch, a T20 to match the quarter inch, an 8 millimeter to go with a 3 8 ratchet, and then a uh, this is a 10 millimeter deep socket. Um, this is a special order item. I couldn't find it anywhere. It's a uh, Hazit 2169. I ended up getting it from uh, Suncoast. And the brush ring. This is a dealer item. A no ring that goes around the filter cartridge. The brush rings that go on the drain plug. Uh, this is the one that's officially for this car, and these are the ones from my previous Cayman. They're the same. 18 by 24 by 150. This is the oil filter, dealer part, and a funnel and towels. What is jacking the car up? This is the point I'm going to be using. It's really similar to the other previous generation Caymans. Also using a hockey puck. See if I have enough clearance to get under there. Anyway, under the car now, here's the transmission. And there is where the transmission joins the engine block. Right there. And now we just gotta remove this, which is where I believe the oil drain pin should be. 
with the oil pan, with the drain plug, somewhere in here. We'll find out. And then usually the filter is right next to it. Gonna remove these T20s to remove this black panel. After a little further inspection, on the sides here, there's these nylon nuts. Need to remove. So far it's been six of the torque screws. The panel, one last bit of a shake. It looks to be captured in one last spot. Uh, that metal is the same as this metal. So I'm gonna remove both of that. And that was four. So six torque screws, four of the nylon nuts along the front edge, and then these two. I just keep finding bolts. <laughs> okay, so that's four, six torque screws, four nylons. Carpet covered metal. There's one here, and then if you go across here, that's the catalytic converter, or part or a muffler, I'm not sure. I would say it's the cat. And the other one. Okay, now all those fasteners are removed. I noticed that the middle here started to bow, so that's what I'm gonna try to do. Up front there's a tab, but I don't think you can get up first, so I'm gonna bow it down and try to get it across from back here. And I'm clear on one. Now just switch hands. So push forward, blow it down. plug that's the oil pan that's the front of the car up there and then back here it's tight in there but let's see if I can show you guys what I mean uh, this is the filter back here come on focus try the light oh, the light works okay this is the filter this round piece this is the funnel that leads to that so we're gonna attach the heater hose here so it doesn't dribble all over the chassis and attach the adapter to that and turn it. This is the best thing I'm going to be able to achieve. And you guys will have to just check my word for it on the heater hose. I'm not looking for like a pressure seal or anything like that. Then we stick the end of the hose in a in my catch can for oil. What you gotta do is uh, come in here with this attached and attach there. Well, you guys get the idea. Just keep going. I'm starting to smell engine oil. That's a good thing. And yeah. Okay, so pull this off. And I should be able to do this by hand now. You know what, we got the luxury of a little funnel there. I'm gonna let this drain. Just let it sit there for a while before coming back to it. Eight millimeter, just like the old car.
I really should go up in the uh, oil filler cap. <laughs> All right, now time to maneuver this filter out of there. Try to go, yeah, just go under the CD axle. Hmm. Okay, that works. Just bring it under the CD axle and out. Okay. What I am going to try to do is, uh, now that I've seen the contact points, clean this. Clean the axle. Not because it's dirty right now, because we're gonna go back in, but when we go back in, I don't want to get dust on the brand new filter. And I'll take another rag and clean the, the inside of that canister. Install the filter. Well, looking at it, it's got the o ring there, so the o ring must go up on the new one. This time, I'm also gonna do this take the old crush ring off. the new one on. Take the filter out. Should just be a clip in. clips. At this point, let's get the drain plug back in. So, wipe off the drain hole and install it. As you guys saw previously, I've already put on the crush washer, the new one. So, all to do is there are some very nice torque specs that uh, are listed, but I hardly ever use, I'll be honest with you. Alright, so minor issue. Um, I'm noticing that this is this is really tight going in. So one half turn, full turn, one and a half, and then it kind of stops. But it's not uh, seated. Probably just tight. So here we go. Good. Give it a check. Nope. Done. Wipe it off. Two's out. Gonna find hopefully a little ridge. No, there aren't any. Take the pick and flop it out. Pop in the new one. Take my greasy fingers, grab a little hole from in here, and loop it up. And that way you don't damage the seal as it's going up, going on, down the threads. Over, down, down, down. It's got to go into that big groove. There it is. Clean all the way around. Okay. And last step is take your brand new filter. We've got my preset filter installed in the canister. Just press, click, and here comes the fun part. So I've already wiped the CV axle. I've already wiped the CV axle and the clutch line. 
Let's see if we can get in there smoothly. So I can try to, hey, that works too. So go over the CV axle. In. So I ended up just using my, my right hand to make sure the thread space between the lip of the canister and the flange was the same on both sides. But we're on, and okay, the O-ring's engaged, so here we go. Yeah, I'm going to work on this, see if there's a faster way to get this, but just a bit tedious. Feels like I'm at the bottom, and that last tightening, good. Um, it's just like the previous generation cars, you're gonna feel resistance, and then just a stop. So, I'm gonna pull my little oil funnel hose out. Yeah, this 5 ace seemed to work perfectly. Okay, and then I'm gonna give the canister up top another wipe. Just so it won't be so dirty. After its first drive. On the new filter. Got a broken hose here that I need to pick up today for another car. But this is the cap that's in there, and then this is a little, I, I call them strut tower looking caps. Anyway, but the decorative cap and the actual cap, those both of which were on here, the left side. Uh, I've got 300 milliliters in so far, and I'm going to do the other five liters. Pouring it upside down. I usually just use the little one liters. Anyway, pour it this way and you don't get the gloves. Right, so let's just let that drain out. Let's see how the oil level is. This. Okay, fun part. Let's get this panel back on. All I've done is hook in the front tab and located frontmost to the screws. But yeah, I'll take them out and just to show you guys. So, front tab in first. Here goes again. I've uh, taken the, the nylon nuts out just to see if it'll give me some more uh, play. But it feels like it did. Anyway. Okay, so you guys heard that? Put the tab in, but don't put any other fasteners in and then get these back ones on. But uh, it's time to assemble. Go four bolts. Then again, do everything by hand just to get it started. Yeah, don't don't fully wrench these things down. Okay. 
32 volts. solidifies the structure. So it's kind of floppy up until you get these in. Maybe the center as I can. And we'll tighten the nylon, the front. Here goes the startup. Don't mind the TPMS light. 1000, nope, there we go, pressure right away. So let's see if we can get the oil pressure, well, oil level, I mean, currently unavailable. Well, let's drive around and see if I see what it ends up as. So with the 300 milliliters, that's where the engine oil ended. Now let's see what, uh, I'm gonna add another 400 milliliters and see where it ends up. clutch line so I'm gonna be careful with it might be better if you use an open-end wrench <laughs> 